So word has been leaked via the underworld grapevine, we could see the Sony Xperia 2, which actually might be called the Sony Xperia 1.1, released at the MWC later this month in Barcelona. Barcelona! So here are five things that we might see according to the leaks. Number one, we could keep our fingers crossed for 8K, but the reality is it's much more likely to be a 4K display, which let's be honest about this, is pretty awesome and maybe still a little bit overkill for a smartphone, but hey, why not? And let's not forget Sony are way ahead of the times when it comes to 4K phones. Who remembers the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium, which I believe was the first ever 4K smartphone in the world. Sony have tons of experience when it comes to 4K displays on phones. So it's likely we're gonna see the best ever made 4K display on a smartphone and it should be on the Xperia 1.1. Number two, the Xperia 1.1 will likely be the world's first 5G 4K smartphone and maybe, just maybe, the new Sony Xperia flagship will be the first to rock the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 which has the new X55 5G modem. So we're talking about gigabit download speeds with epic AI performance, improved efficiency right across the board, and hopefully we'll see the same chipset in the other Sony flagships later in the year, but only time will tell. Number three, the side mounted fingerprint reader will be back. And I just really hope Sony have spent a little bit more money on it this time because the Xperia 1 and Xperia 5 really didn't have the fastest fingerprint readers in the world. In reality, you had to register your fingerprint several times to get it to work properly. So fingers crossed, hopefully it will be better this time. We shall see. Number two, photos of a new Sony battery have surfaced and last year Sony were pretty heavily criticized for using a fairly small battery at 3,300 milliamps. I mean, it's not tiny, but by 2019 standards, it was pretty small. And it looks like the complaints of low battery life will be a thing of the past with the new Sony devices. We could see up to two day battery life on the new Sony 2020 flagships. So that's pretty awesome. And you know what else would be cool? If they brought back wireless charging. Power at 400% capacity. How about that? Number one, the jack is back baby. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you'll know I'm always complaining about the lack of headphone jacks in smartphones. And to be honest, I've been going without one for so long that I've forgotten what it's like to actually have a headphone jack. But the reality is this, although I'm used to my wireless headphones, there is always gonna be a little bit of a latency issue when it comes to going wireless at the moment. So I still think it's viable when it comes to smartphones and Sony make the Sony Walkmans, which deliver amazing quality using a high quality DAC inside. Let's hope they can bring some of that technology to the new Xperia phones, possibly making it the best phone to listen to music with. That would be pretty awesome. So what is your opinion on headphone jacks going into 2020? Is it necessary? Do you want a headphone jack? or do you no longer need it? There's a poll up in the top right corner for you to answer or leave me a comment below. And here are some bonus features that we could see on the Xperia 1.1 purely based off what the Snapdragon 865 is capable of. So the Xperia 1.1 cameras could be anywhere between 48 megapixels and 200 megapixels. But the reality is it's most likely gonna be 64 megapixels and that's still pretty awesome. And according to the leaks, there'll be four shooters with the addition of a new time of flight sensor. So expect to see better portrait photography from the new Xperia. And when it comes to video capture, we could see 8K video recordings. And as well as that, the ability to record video and take photos at the same time. So we're not talking about just capturing a frame from the video. It'll actually be able to take photos while recording. And if my memory serves me correctly, Sony were the first company to do 4K HDR video recording. Well, this year, we could see Sony be the first to do Dolby Vision video recording on the new Sony Xperia 1.1. That will be impressive if they can pull that off. And just going back to the display technology very quickly, the Snapdragon 865 
can output to screens that support up to 144 Hz. Now, I'd be quite happy to see a 90 Hz refresh rate on the new Sony devices, but 120, well, that would just be more awesome. And if there's anything that you think the Sony will have that I haven't mentioned in this video, let me know in the comments below what that is. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And to stay tuned for more Sony tech reviews and hands-on videos, don't forget to Hulk smash that subscribe button. And if you just did that, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And if you want to check out some of my hands-on Sony reviews, there's a bunch of thumbnails on the screen right now. See you guys in the next one. Don't be late. The rest is quite simple, really. Word has been leaked via the underworld grapevine.